you look back at the recent president's hair, you might notice a little trend. Reagan, Clinton, Bush, and now even Obama all looking a little more gray when they're coming out of that White House of theirs. A little salt with that pepper. Could it be, as the ancient legend goes, that having a stressful job causes graying hair? <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Lacey Green and this is DNews. Let's face it, we are obsessed with youth. People have collective nightmares about one day waking up and seeing ourselves with a head full of gray hair. It's terrifying. Fortunately, gray hair has a quick fix called hair dye, but that doesn't stop people. Mm -mm, they still want to understand how to stop those gray strands from popping up in the first place. The gray hair situation goes a little something like this. By default, your hair is sort of transparent whitish. whitish. There are cells in your hair follicles called melanocytes that generate a pigment called melanin, which then gives hair its color. Basically, the more melanin you have, the darker your hair. So less melanin, the lighter your hair. Eventually, these melanocytes say, okay, I'm done, no more melanin for you. And that's when you start to get gray hair, as follicle by follicle, the melanocytes stop producing melanin. But what triggers the fall of the melanocytes? There are a few factors. The main one is genetics. If you come from a family where your parents or grandparents went gray early, you're probably gonna go gray early as well. On average, women start spotting some gray hair around 35 and men around 30. But graying can begin as early as high school or as late as your 50s. It's super variable and it really depends on both genetic and environmental contributors. For instance, smokers are four times more likely to go gray prematurely than non-smokers. Some vitamin deficiencies can also affect hair color and so on. But what about stress? Can living a stressful life cause you to go gray early? The answer is kinda. Stress itself does not actually cause hair to start growing out gray, so that part is myth. Scientists have found that a more accurate relationship between stress and graying hair is that if you're predisposed to graying early, lots of stress could cause an early onset. The current thought is that stress can, one, cause some melanocytes to decline slightly earlier, and two, increase the likelihood of shedding hair, which then contributes to an increased likelihood of graying hair. But again, this is all based mostly, but not entirely, on your genetics. If you're not predisposed to graying, it's unlikely that stress will do much to change your hair color. So add that to your stuff that's been proven wrong pile. And as for the presidents, well, yeah, if they're predisposed, I'm sure governing one of the most powerful countries in the world doesn't help out with the stress levels. But I think part of why it seems like the presidents are going gray is because they're right in that going gray age. And we typically have our eyes on them for nearly a decade. All right, guys, so how do you feel about graying? Are you planning to dye your hair or do you think that you will go au natural? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe so you can catch some more D-news tomorrow.